Many Israelites were filled with uncertainty as they were about to enter the promised land. Ahead, they knew there were giants in the land, but also many other unknowns. What would they face? What would happen? At this critical moment, Moses declared that God already had prepared blessings for them. He was ready to give them victory and overwhelming favor. But he also made clear that their actions would determine whether or not they received these blessings. And check it out. Obedience for them, as in our lives today, didn't mean living an absolutely flawless life. Never making a single mistake. It meant living an obedient life. The blessings were to come not by perfect actions, but through an obedient relationship with God. Take a look at Deuteronomy verses 1-2. through two. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all His commands that I am giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the world. You will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. Over the next 12 verses, we read the details of the kind of blessings they could expect if they obeyed God. But the next 53 verses describe the curses that would result from disobeying God. You see, there were consequences to their actions, and blessings only would result if they made the right choices. And the principles Moses described remain true. God still promises blessings, but only if we listen to Him and diligently obey Him. In fact, His blessings will be so overwhelming that they'll take hold of us. We literally will be overtaken with blessings. That's how much He wants to bless us. Every day we have important decisions to make, and if we obey God and make the right choices, we'll be blessed. But if we disobey God and make the wrong choices, we'll suffer the consequences and fail to receive God's blessings. So let me ask you, do you want God's blessing in your life? If so, start today by committing your life to Him. Make Jesus your Lord. Fill your life with His Word and seek to obey Him. Listen carefully to the leading of the Spirit and know that God longs to bless you.